Hello friends, welcome to LMSDaily.com. In today's episode, we will see what is grouping in Moodle terminology and how you can use the grouping in your Moodle course. So let us get started. In Moodle terminology, the term grouping refers to a collection of groups. As with groups, you create a grouping in Moodle and then assign the groups to the grouping. The groupings can be useful when you want to use different groups for different activities in your course. For example, if you have students who are working in pairs for one assignment and in a group of 5 or 6 for another assignment, then you can create each of the desired groups and then you add those groups into a grouping. Now I will show you how you can set up the groupings with the groups in your Moodle course. So as you can see on my screen, I am logged into this course as a teacher. Now on this course page, you need to go to the participants tab. And on this participants page, you need to expand this drop down to go to the groupings page. Here as you can see, I do not have any groupings set up for this course. And I will first show you the groups available in this course. So I will just go to the groups menu here and as you can see I have around 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 groups in this course and as of now I do not have any users added to these groups but for the sake of this video I will just show you how you can use these groups in the grouping. So let me go back to the groupings page here and I will create a new grouping in the first field you need to add a name of the grouping so let me enter active learners I will leave this grouping ID number as blank and I will just keep this description also empty just click on save changes so as you can see now I have one grouping active in my Moodle course but as of now I have not yet assigned any groups to this grouping in order to do that you need to go on the right side and here you will see this icon which says that show grouping show groups in the grouping so I will just click on this one and it is a similar screen like setting up the groups and enrolling the users in the group so on the right side you can see the potential members which can be added to this grouping instead of the students here you will see the list of the groups which are available for this course so i will just press the control button and select multiple groups and then click on the add button here so now as you can see i have added four groups to this grouping named active learners now i will just click go back to the groupings And here you can see the list of the groups which are a part of this groupings. Now I will create another grouping and I will name it as passive group, passive learner sorry. And I will click on save changes. Again I will go to this icon and click on show groups in the grouping. Again I will select some groups and click on add and then I will just click on back to groupings so now I have set up two different type of groupings what does it mean is that if I would like to assign any activity to this 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 specific type of group members I can simply choose the active learners grouping in the course activity settings and if would like to allow or assign any activity to these 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 group members then I can choose the passive learners grouping. So I will just show you how you can set up the course activities accordingly. I will go to the course homepage back. Now I will click the editing mode on. And then I will just go to add an activity and choose assignment. Here you need to give the assignment a name. Let me see, it is a test assignment and 
I will just scroll down keeping all the settings as it is to the common module settings here first you need to define the group mode for this activity so what I will do is I will keep it to visual groups now when it is no groups then you could not see any options here but when you expand this to either separate groups or visible groups then only you will see the grouping options now in the grouping you can see that i can assign to active learners or you can also add any grouping access restrictions here what does it mean is you can specify that a student has to belong to a certain group or grouping before they can access this specific assignment so now once you are done just click on save and return to course so as you can see now on this course home page the access restriction is that this assignment is not available unless the student belongs to a group in the active learners grouping so this is how you can set up the groupings in your Moodle course and use in your courses. If you like this video please don't forget to click the subscribe button as well as press the bell icon. If you have any questions regarding the groupings please put them in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching.